Okay, so hi guys, welcome to the channel. Today is the first start of the December of our collection videos that we do like every year. I have been actually enjoying doing the collection videos because you guys actually um, seem to be like, oh, I have that. Oh, I don't have that one. Where did you get that? It's kind of interesting. So, as you can see, there's books here. These are the books are the unread books yet that I do plan to read um, in for next year. So what I have done now and um, what I plan to do is that I've gone to each either manga or book author um, and I've been trying to find, like for mangas, trying to find the rest of the volumes. Um, for Anna Can I Make a Kill I've only found volume 9. I cannot find volume 10 or 11 anywhere. So that's hard to find. Um, but then obviously I wanted to get all the rest of the Cassandra Clare books which are mainly here. I'm just waiting. Well, actually, I've got the Bane Chronicles, which you guys won't see until the December monthly haul. My December monthly haul is going to be a big one because it's got the October monthly haul and the November monthly haul onto it as well. So that one's going to be a nice big one. I thought I'd do that and have that some fun on that one. Um, but obviously, I've got the Bane Chronicles, that one, and then the little quotes, um, something like that. And there's one more book, and I can't remember what that's why well, it's not coming into my head. But obviously, we're gonna get for those ones first. But I can't, Cassandra Clare, those ones I am gonna read in the beginning of the year. Um, because I thought it's more easier for me to go for each author and get the rest of their books. Because I have so many books by so many authors that I'm going to myself, okay, right, I need to get the rest of their books first before I read one book, read the other one, <laughs> all that. So, anyway. So from the Cassandra Clare one, they're not in, they were kind of in order, but not in order. So the one I've got is the Shadow Hunter Codex, 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 whatever you call it. So obviously, I think this might be the first one you might see for the new year. But I haven't fully planned out what I'm doing for next year's videos yet. So why I'm doing these uh, videos, obviously, it's helping me plan. Going, okay, that's what I need to watch. That's what I need to read first. Something like that. So if you do, I have like so many authors that I have to go through first. So like every time I get a, ver a fair loop book, I'm like, okay, I need to read these other books first before I get these books. So I'm trying to read as many books as I can um, on that. So the Shadow Hunter Codex, I'm going to have no room, so I'm going to put them on the floor. Then we have the um, Dart Artifacts series. So we have the Lady Midnight. So some of these books I am um, actually listening to on Audible, um, which is very lovely and helpful. So every 20th of each month, I get a free little point on the Audible. And then she pay £18 for three um, free ones. Three more spots, you get more. So the book that I'm currently reading, well, not currently reading because I'm reading mangas at the moment. By the time you watch this, I will be listening to The Wicked of the Wish. Which I got that in December's video, I think. Was that December's box? With two books in it? I think so. That was my first box. And I went, so I'll probably start reading that by now with the Audible. So anyway, so I've got The Lady Midnight. And then I've got The Lord of Shadows, which these are chunky books. So I probably will listen to the, the audio. Um, but obviously stop at the bits to find out which one's my favourite. Then I have the Queen of Air and Darkness. Now as you can see that some of my um, stuff are hardback or paperback. So I know some people are like, oh I can't have paperback and um, hardback. You like to have all series. I am a bit of a bit of a po bit of both. So I'm not really bothered. Um, like if I've got like Chain of Gold, um, that's hardback. So obviously uh, Fairy Luke said they're going to do a Chain of Iron in this um, kind of, sort of match in that one. Not obviously a separate box, but they're going to do the matching book. So that I'm really looking forward to. Anyway, so then we have the Ghost of the Shadow Market. This one is actually in a hardback, which I was very surprised. I didn't realise it was actually the hardback until I got it. So there's that one. Then I have the um, Red Scrolls of Magic. So I literally, I've got, I got that online, which I was very surprised how clean and new it looked. Then I got the Lost Book of the White, so I got that in Blue Water and um, Spider Edges and Hardback. Yes, please. What was that? I don't know. But there's that. And then we have the Towers from the Shadow Hunters. 
Academy, so there's that one as well. So we have a lot of Cassandra Clare books, but that is perfectly fine. Um, so when the chain, if you're asking, um, what if when the chain iron comes out and you've read all the Cassandra books and you may be on the next author? Well, then I will be stop. Oh, I'll be carrying reading the book that I'm on from another author, and then I will read Chain of Iron, um, and then I'll carry on with the author because I don't want to be stopping and starting with each stuff. So I like. Same with when I get Bone Cries Dawn. I have pre-ordered that. Um, hopefully, written in the uh, written in the star moonlight or something is coming. I'm not sure when that's coming out, but hopefully, I can get that one soon. Um, Unsheath, Broken Webs. There's so many books that we've got. They've got a second book coming. So there's that. So obviously, then we obviously, like I said, I've got my Disney books, which I'm getting hardcover of because I want actually want them in hardcover. Um, since I got Reflection in the by Elizabeth Lim in hardcover cup so you'll see that in my book slash manga collection that I've actually read through I'm mixing all these together which I just realised I need to get my mangas that I haven't read <laughs> um, so yeah so there's that I'm getting those in hardback so the ones I have got and um, that I have read on here you guys won't see the hardback version until the actual video for um, the books and book mangas that I have read uh, the books I haven't read will go on my list to see that you've got reads. So, of all those, making sure I get all my mangas in and everything like that. So, once I finish all those books and I've got to the end, I'll start on this section. So, this is my next line. So, obviously, the next person I'll be reading is Holly Black. So, this is one of them with the with when she did it with Cassandra Clare, The Iron Trial. So, now I put this on the list with uh, Holly Black, so I didn't realise. Um, obviously, it says Holly Black first anyway. So, You'll see in this book when I read the Holly Black series of them. There's like a lot of books. But it's going to be fun. We have that one. Then we also have the Magisterium, the Copper Gotlet. So I do have the other series as well. Uh, obviously you won't see them. But I do that. I do. I am looking forward to reading this because it's quite interesting to see how it is going to end up ending. I feel this is going to fall over. Then we have The School for Good and Evil by Simon uh, Chainani. So that's obviously, once I finish this, I can put all them in order and all that. Then I have The Everland by Wind Wendy Spindle. So I do want to get the Oz one and the Alice in the Wonder one, as Alice in the La uh, Wonderland book that they have. So... Now I've because I this is Peter Pan kind of retelling, and I'm a big fan of, re, um, of Peter Pan because it's like my favourite. Then obviously we have our um, Incendiary uh, by Zondera Zoradenda Kova. So this is one of the Fairy Loop books. Um, obviously you guys won't see this until probably next year or something like. That. I'm planning my best of trying to get the my Fairy Loop books read as much as quickly as I can. But obviously it's quite hard for me to try and get them done. Um, then I got Everless by Sarah Holland, so I saw this on one, I think it was a Fairy Loop unboxing they did, and my sister bought this for me for Christmas, I just done my turn with the thing, so obviously the cover is a bit dirty, um, so I'm not quite sure if I'm going to carry on keeping it, or I might just have to order myself a new one, and then, um, I don't know, unless they, someone can sell a thing, because obviously it's going to be red otherwise like that. Uh, then we have Eight Will Fall by Sarah Herring. So this is another Fairy Loop book. Book, I believe I got this in December's one as well. So there's that book. Obviously, I still have not read it, and it's from December, almost a year, and I have not read it yet. I guess that's mostly what book tubers do, don't they? They don't. They get a book and they don't read it for another year or something. Then we have The Shadow Between Hearths by Tr um, Tracy Levenstella. Trisha. Um, so obviously I have not read this book yet and this is obviously from Fairy Loot for our March box. have not read it yet still but I do like I am doing my very best. Then we have some Sarah J Masses. Sarah J, Sarah J Masses. So obviously I know she's got a few books as well so I've got the Assassin Blade book. Um, obviously I'm not sure if 
Well, it says in order, so I'm guessing this is the first book. Or whatever like that, so we'll find out. So there's the Assassin's Blade. And then, obviously, I got the Throne of Glass one as zero as well. So, obviously, I've been getting them in paperback, because it seems to be a bit cheaper. But I know the new book is in hardback, so trying to get the hardback, actually, are expensive. So I'm just going to continue to get paper bag. If it does come to the end of it and there is a hardback, then I probably will get the hardback version as well. So this could be like all paper back, one hardback. Ah, not too bad. Then I got the Grim Lovers Lies, uh, Love Lies uh, by Megan Shepherd. So this really intrigues me on there about beasts and stuff like that. Something like that. So it's kind of interesting. If you guys have read it, please let me know in the down, comments down below. And then I have the um, Beauty and the Beast Retelling by Robin McKinley. This is the, uh, the book of beauty. So this is like a maybe like a day read. Um, so this should be fun to read as well. Then I have got the Ember and Ashes in by Sabah uh, Toha. Tohi. Sorry, I can't say I pronounce the name. Um, Fair Loot is actually doing. Um, di well, time this video comes out, they have got the whole um, book set of the whole Ember and the Ashes series, two, one to four, and in all in hardback and little spray dishes and everything like that. I have actually ordered it and it obviously is not coming until next year. So obviously I am probably gonna put this book in the giveaway. I'm just letting you guys know that I have the book, but obviously any extra books I have, I'm probably will give away. It's like, I got the reflection paperback, so that's gonna go in a giveaway as well. Like, come on, we're literally, well, actually, I don't know because I'm filming this quite early. So who knows what I will be. I will put the number up when I'm editing it. Since when I'm editing this. Because when I'm filming this, I am almost to 300 subscribers. So time I actually upload this for the 1st of December, I will put the thingy there somewhere. So I'm looking forward to get the whole set of that in hardback as well. Then... The Curse, um, A Curse of Dark and Lonely by Bridget Kemmer. Now, I pre-ordered her new book. Um, it's coming out for next year. It's in hardback, so I need to get the hardback version of the first two. So, there's those ones as well. So, this will go in my box of giveaways. So, if you're new and you just start reading and you don't have these books, let me know in the comments down below and I can always send them to you. Then, we have the... Um, the Modern Fairy Tales, The Tear for Villagent and Ironside by Holly Black. Now for me, I was like, oh, where can I find the separate books of these? Until I realised they were all in one book. Duh. So obviously that will be interesting to read. So obviously all three of them will be into put into one. But there's that as well by Holly Black. My book pile is getting very big. You're probably going to start seeing it in a minute. Okay, then I have the Star Daughter by Shevin Shevetta Ferrara. So obviously this was from a uh, June's box, no August's box. Still haven't read that. And then I have the Set the Fire to the Gods by Sarah Rashes and Kristen Simmons. So they collab, collab, collab. What is that? Collab on their book. Um, and I got this from the August um, Beacon Box. I thought it was going to be the same book as the Star Daughter, but it wasn't. It was completely different. It was the other book. So I'm really, really looking forward to reading that book as well. Oh, you're going to fall over, aren't you? Then, obviously, I got The Bone Shard by Andre Stewart. But, um, so there's that. So obviously, this was from Aluma Crate. Um, they actually were doing the separate box, and if you haven't seen that, I will link at the bottom. Um, I'll see what videos I'll link at the bottom, at the end of the video. Like, I am like editing as much as I can. And there's a bookmark in there. So, uh -huh. so there's that book. Is very tipping. My leg is literally just holding it up. Okay, so next book I have is Grown by Tiffany G. Jackson. So I got this in the September Unplugged box, and it sounds like it's mystery, it's kind of stuff like that, and I was like, oh, this sounds bloody amazing. So I literally cannot wait to read this. 
This is literally one of the things I've been looking forward to reading anyway. Most of the books I've been actually looking forward to read, to be honest. Please don't fall. Then we have Fable by Ariane Young. Ariane Young, or something like that. So obviously this we got in this our recent book for September. So it's a September book. But obviously we haven't got, obviously, well, by the time, like I said, by the time this video comes out, our October box will be here. So any, because I'm actually filming this in November. And obviously, um because I want to try and get stuff sorted, sorted so with that going on I am pretty much trying to so any video so any books that I get from my subscription boxes um I will just you to see them in uh, the subscription boxes as I am filming this quite early and obviously we have that. pretty much so so if you see the October box the November box and the December box. If they have books in it, and you won't see them in the unread books. You just see the unboxings, but I'll let you know they will be the unread books. So Fabian Young. Oh, you can see, yeah, you can see look how wobbling that is. Okay, so these I have got the volume one of Overlord. That's a manga. Of course. Oh my god. Then I have Kingdom of the Wicked by uh, Kerry Manascolo. So I believe this is actually, I'm going to get this book in the October Fairy Loot. So I have, then you'll see what we see. And I probably will be announcing a book uh, giveaway. So if you have not got this book, obviously, and I have not announced that I'm doing a giveaway for it, enter it. Okay. My God. Okay, so the next two books are from Shelby uh, Mohan, Mohan, or whatever. <laughs> it's Serpent and the Dove and Honey in the Blood. Oh, God. So I managed to get both of these series together, which I'm really happy they added the Serpent and Dove to it because I have not read both of these books, but I was really looking forward to get the box. And, oh, my God, that's going to fall. Hang on. So obviously me trying to get these, all, well I'm going to get them in order of, once I finish this I put them in order because then it will be easier for me to know which book I'm going to be reading um, and when I'm going to read it because that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make a pile of books that I'm going to read in next year, stuff like that so. You staying still now or do I have to carry on putting that one on? Um, so, okay, stop moving. so yeah, that's all, that's all the unread books. I need to go and get the mangas, so one moment. Okay, so there's those. And just give me a second, I'm going to put them on the floor. I don't know actually if you've seen that was dark or not, so my phone was literally about to run out of charge. So I have my mangas, I'm going to go for those. So, <coughs> first one I have is My Only Vampire. Vampire um, in volume three. So I have done the two volumes. This is the third one. So obviously this is one one of them that I found like ages ago. But obviously that is one of my sections to see if they have any that they have on this one. Then I have Rosemary and Rosemary, Rosemary and Vampire Volume One. Volume two. Volume three. Volume 5, Volume 5, sorry, that was Volume 4, and Volume 6. So now what I have planned to do for my, I think, Noragami and Nisekoi and like Janine, I have combined three manga books, I just spat everywhere, in different, um, in the sections, to make it easier, to make it, instead of making three different videos, I just made the video longer, by making three different kind of reviews in one. So that's what I'm gonna do with those. So obviously it's gonna be volume one, two, three, four, five, six, four, blah, 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 blah. Then I have the volumes of Ruby, Red Like Roses. I have volume two of Weiss, Mirror, Mirror. Then I got these three, these three and four in Blue Water. So from the shadows of Blake. And volume four, I burn by Yang. So obviously I've got those four as well, and hopefully there's something to that. Out. Mm. Hang on. 
Then I have Sakura Him, which I've been loving the books anyway. So we have Volume 1, Volume 2, Volume 3, Volume 4, Volume 5, in Volume 6, Volume 7, Volume 8, Volume 9, in Volume 10, and Volume 11. So they only have a few more volumes of that, so that was e that's pretty good, decent enough. And then I have the, I think this is the final season of volumes, but I have the first four of, so, volumes of El The Elven Fairy. So I'm not quite sure if they have any more, but I will have a look, because I've had these for quite a while. I've read them quite a few times, and I've seen the anime a few times as well. But there's that. Then I have The Devil is a Part-Timer, Volume 1, which I got from Aki Bento. So there's that. And the mangas are quite dusty. Then I got the first two volumes of the Saf Savarf of the End. Those two, so the vampire thing. I believe I got the anime of that, I think. Do I have the anime? I can't remember. Okay. Me trying to read some mangas off the bot off the floor, guys. Is what's happening right now. Okay, and then I have the nine volumes of Vampire Night. One. No, that's a good idea. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, and nine. So obviously, um, there might be a bit. Obviously, I've got Rainbow Magic books as well that you see, will see in December time. Well, actually, November, November, and, mid and December. But what's happening is, um, with my mangas, I'm going to do quite a few books, then some mangas, books, mangas, books, mangas. We're going to do that. So if you see, um. If you have not seen any of the mangas that um, that I don't own, and you want be like, okay, Amber, I want you to give this a try. Comment down below what mangas you want me to have a look and have a check out because I definitely want to get some more mangas. Because even though I've got like I say I've got a few, but I need to got a lot. So right now I have so so many books right now that's unbelievable. But I've got so many DVDs, so I'm about halfway of like each, and I've only got a simple amount of room to get through. But anyway, so now this is filmed. Yay. Um, the next one is the un um, the unwatched DVDs that I have not watched yet. So that's going to be the next video. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy. There is going to, what the plan is, is going to be a, almost a video every single day. Not most likely. So some Wednesdays, Wednesdays might not, you might not see a collection video because it's got like a um, video for the books. Same with Sunday as well. You might not see a collection video. But there's going to be pretty much a video almost every day of December. It's going to be interesting. I do plan to do a room tour as well at the end of the end of the year. year so there's that. I just got to make sure I'm ready. So I'm just going to sort these books out. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy and look out for the next video because, uh, to be honest, guys, and there's a lot of collection videos going on, random ones but good ones ones too. So there's that. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time for the next video of collections. Bye bye.